Nothing says America leads the free world like a clandestine meeting in a conference room as seen here. This is video from a weekend meeting by the Secretaries of State and Defense in Kyiv with the Ukrainian president. They traveled there without American press, instead leaving the press behind in Poland on cots, only for the secretaries to return triumphantly as if they had just won the war for Ukraine. Uh, an important moment for, for Ukraine, uh, for the war. Uh, an important moment to have face-to-face uh, -face conversations in detail uh, about the extraordinary uh, support that we provided. Yeah, so important because we showed up. Compared the American visit with video of Prime Minister Boris Johnson strolling through the streets of Kyiv a few weeks ago with President Zelensky, just based on looking at the two pictures, obviously that's not Blinken in the conference room, but who would know the difference, right? Who do you think represents the free world? American diplomats are going to return to Ukraine. That's from the New York Times. Better question for the gray lady. Why did we ever leave? America didn't leave England during World War II. American diplomats stayed in London even through the blitz of the Nazi bombing. Nathan Sales served as ambassador at large for counterterrorism, knows the State Department well. Is this just another example of uh, leading from behind? Well, Leland, it sure looks like the United States is playing catch up. The Brits send their prime minister and, and we send our secretary of state and secretary of defense. The Ukrainians ask for heavy weapons and eventually we say yes and start delivering them after six weeks. But there is no substitute for American leadership, um, real leadership, not leading from behind, but leading out in front. And, and that's what I hope we can hope to see more of from this administration. You and I have disagreed uh, before on air and we're always glad to have you because you're a free thinker and an independent thinker on these issues. I don't think anybody would say that President Biden should have gone. Air Force One coming into town is a little bit different than the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. There's other issues involved. But why the decision to leave the American press behind? Why the decision to evacuate American diplomats, not just from Kyiv, but from all of Ukraine, and then celebrate the return as if it's something worthy of of this great celebration? It's a great question. And it's really, really important to have the press pool accompanying the Secretary of State on a high stakes visit like this. This is a good story. The, the fact that the United States is sending two cabinet secretaries, sure, it's not the president, um, it's not the A list, but it's the B list. Um, and, and that is a good story to tell, to demonstrate American solidarity with Ukraine. I have no idea why we didn't have uh, every eligible reporter there covering it uh, for the world to see. And as far as our diplomats are concerned and their presence in, in Ukraine, uh, now is the time to get back. They can't do their jobs if they're running day trips in from Poland into, into Lviv, let alone operating out of the capital. Look, it's not a good look for our European allies to be reopening their embassies in the capital and for us to once again be playing catch up. Yeah, no, you think you think about the other world leaders who, who've come in, um, uh, Polish president, the Estonian president, the Latvian president, they were in in the very beginning uh, during the war to meet with Zelensky. Obviously, the Lithuanian president was there, and then you had Boris Johnson come uh, and walk through the streets. Is the State Department that scared of risk in its own shadow and that interested in only going to uh, parties that the Charge Day Affairs and other members of the embassy wouldn't have said, no, we're staying in Kyiv for the war? That's what diplomats do. What, what's the point of having diplomats if they're only there for the good times? You know, I think our diplomats want to do their job, and they know that the job is on the front lines. They need to be in the capital. They need, need to be meeting with so it's, Ukrainian so it's Blinken, officials it, every day. So it's Blinken and the president who would have made these decisions. I think Washington is gun shy. I think it's the leadership in Washington that is really risk averse and don't want our folks huh. to be uh, caught in sticky situations on the front lines. Yeah, well, um... And then you end up with Boris Johnson looking like the leader of the free world. Hey, Ambassador, it was good to see you. Thank you very much. The, the dangers of what you just described are very real. Next time we'll talk about them. Sounds good. Thanks, Thank Leland. you, sir. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.